Hello, it's me again and I'm going to be taking you around Manila starting with the iconic monument, the Rizal Monument, our national hero. Come with me as I take you to a mini tour of this general area. Keep your stuff safe. Filipinos are generally a great people, but you know, we are a third world country after all. We'll just be safe. Okay. Kat over here is an Instagram expert. She is going to be teaching me how to do some Instagram poses around the sea parts. <laughs> okay, wait, stop, stop. Come here closer. Okay, there. Cover the sign there. That's what you do. Look away. Oh, look serious. Laugh at me. Laugh at me. <laughs> First stop, we're going to the, the National Museum oh, of Natural, Natural History. History. It's the newest museum we have here. It's to fulfill your Instagram dreams. So all you millennials out there who's doing it for the gram, I got you. Cats got you. Yeah. We all got you. Do you know that the sunfish is pretty useless? Fortunately, half of this place is still closed. But, you know, it's a nice place for architecture and stuff. Was it worth it? Yes, because it's free. Now we are off to the National Museum of Fine Arts, where we will see the Spolarium by Juan Luna. This is the dirty ice cream. Then here in the Philippines, we eat them with buns. Why is it called dirty ice cream? Because it's street food. That's pretty much it. Mm. Ow, my teeth hurt. <laughs> So I called a friend. Please meet my new companion, Pauline. What's our next stop, Pauline? Intramuros. We're going to Intramuros. Conveniently enough, we found a tricycle, Puya. Puya, pangalan niyo po? Ah, Spanish name, uh, Jim Sandoli Vernon. Spanish name. <laughs> Spanish name. You take one of these pedicabs uh, for 40 pesos. That will take you to Intramuros and save you all of the walking. Ladies and gentlemen, is the Filipino street food. We have fish ball, cake yam, squid ball, hot dog, shiomai, and the ever famous quack quack or a quail egg dipped in some mysterious orange batter. Wow. Yummy. Yummy. Melon and milk. This, ladies and gents, is the Manila Cathedral. Wow, look at it in all its majesty! Very old. Go see it. <laughs> so if you're going to go to Intramuros and take the pedicab, like I said, you could always ask them to take you to the Manila Cathedral. That is where all the horse carriages are, or most of the horse carriages that can take you to a tour around Fort Santiago. This, my friends, is Fort Santiago. This is where our national hero, Jose Rizal, was detained before he was executed at the Rizal Park where I took you earlier. It's a lot more interesting than how it looks like right now. But unfortunately, I can't take you inside. I am pressed for time. 
I have places to go and people to see. That's it, Fort Santiago. So behind me right now is the LRT1, every indie filmmaker's dream. You win the indie fields. This ain't about me. It's all in my head. I am thinking it's all in All right, so a quick rundown of what we did. Uh, we took the LRT, went down the Hill Puyat station. We were supposed to ride a jeepney to our next destination, but there wasn't any available at that moment. And the most convenient way to go was via the e-tricycle. It's also not that expensive. It's definitely more expensive than taking the jeep but it's more convenient so I think it's worth it it's 20 pesos per person and it gives you this kind of hairstyle we are now at the World Trade Center I'll see you all from July 6 to 8 here at the World Trade Center for the Gen Fest everything that I showed throughout the video is a stone throw away from this venue so it's gonna be exciting I'll see you there and thanks for watching bye